whoa, 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 stop. I'm just gonna whoa, move whoa, that away. Up. I think we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna take that away from the start. We're gonna put it right at the end. So not going anywhere. They're still there. We're just gonna start the videos a little different. We like to be different, you know that. Yes, big old style. Let's get into it. It is. Even though the sun's out, it's bloody cold still. In the shade, anyway. Oh. Are you cold? Yeah. Can we see you? Oh, just look. He's oh. oh. got his little high vis shirt on. on. Ready? Oh. So, at the moment, as you know, we're without a caravan. Believe it or not, when you watch this, it's actually only recorded two days prior. This is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And you're watching this on Thursday. <laughs> but um, we've taken Jada to school, so she got dropped off as you saw, and it's just the three of us today. And our goal over the next few weeks is just to show you some of the things that used to be really cool outings as a Southeast Queensland resident. But also things that we still didn't get to do, even though we lived here. So yeah. today, well, I guess right now where we are this morning is one of those places. We've driven past it like 15,000 billion times, but never actually came in. Mom. So we're Hang gonna... on, I wanna see if Jack knows what we're doing. What are we doing? I'm digging. Digging? What are we digging for? Uh, rocks. Rocks, that's ah, right. Ah, good boy. We're at yeah. Thunderbird Park. So if nobody knows what that is, it's near Mount Tambourine. And Mount Tambourine is probably an iconic spot around Southeast Queensland. So if anybody's from around here, we'll know exactly where we're talking. And it's a pretty cool spot. It's definitely good on the weekends, gets a bit busy, but I guess the joy of being here during the week is not going to be as busy, but then we can showcase a few bits and pieces without the crowds. So yeah, Mount Tambourine today, um, we've got a few things in the area, some we've seen, some we haven't. Come join us, let's yeah, go. Let's go. Get the digging! Yay! Oh my god, what is that? What is that? What is it? That's a pterodactyl. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, it's a big flying dinosaur. Yeah. Is that cool? It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a dinosaur. Whoa. Can you say pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. Well done. <laughs> oh, a birdie. Birdie, yeah. So where we are right now is kind of a hub for adventures. You've got laser skirmish, there's mini golf, there's a tree chop challenge. We're gonna be going to do the thunder eggs today and behind us there's even a cafe. And if you're more for nature as well, there's also Cedar Creek Falls, which is about a 15 minute walk away from here, but there's parking no matter where you end up going. Yeah, so the good, so good thing about Cedar Creek Falls on the weekend, it is absolutely flat stick, mm -hmm. like it is so busy. So normally you've got to park at the top and walk all the way down and then go to the falls. So being a weekday, probably the best time to go. It's probably not the ideal weather, but um, it's, it, at least we can get down there and check it out. Because I don't think I've been down there for 
been a long time. A 15, long time. 15 years or so, probably even longer. Who we'll knows? see how we go. Yeah, so we'll go check it out. Hang on. What's up? I want to go. Where do you want to go? Okay. Yeah, you want to go, don't you? Go do some digging? Yeah. Go check everything out. Yeah. I Come on then. Now we need to go back 200 million years. Have you done this before? Oh, when I was a kid. Oh, welcome back. Thanks, <laughs> 30 odd years ago. Yeah. No, you mean 15. No. <laughs> 200 million years ago, there were lots of volcanoes here. And deep down underground in magma, as we call lava when it's underground, we had bubbles of gas. <clears throat> now those bubbles filled up with superheated water that was containing minerals and silicas. Yep. Forced into the bubbles, cooled and hardened to form the thunder eggs. And geologists actually estimate we have another 800 to 1,000 years worth of fossicking here in the mine. Oh, the man. magnitude that the eggs are found in is over 400 metres deep. And that's what you're going to be digging through today. Yeah. Now, because they're formed in bubbles, you really want to look for round or spheroid shapes for your complete intact eggs, which obviously okay. when cut look really cool like these ones. And the small ones are quite smooth compared to the larger, have more nodules and bumps and bumps. But key yeah. number one to your fossicking is round. We have some very special green jasper here, Ooh. some orange carnelian. Yeah. So you want to keep your eye open for different colours or anything that might glitter or shine on the ground because there's still some amazing stuff to be found. Ah. You might find what we call a conglomerate, which is a number of eggs joined together like this twin. Yeah. Or bottom. Turn it on its side. Yeah. Like <laughs> maybe, Jack, you might find something like that one. Yeah. Think? A really big one. Have a look. Wow. Yeah. We're going to be giving you a pick just like this, Jack, and you need to be very careful, okay? We don't want you smash, smash, smash. That is no good because you might damage the pick. But you also might hurt Mummy, and we don't want that. Okay, are you going to carry the bucket for Mummy? You going to carry it? Good stuff. Yeah. <coughs> good manners. Do you hear him? <laughs> yeah. Pretty exciting. I didn't know it was going to be me going to mine. I thought it would end up being you, babe. Um, it's only because you got enclosed shoes. Lucky one. And I know. <laughs> and Jack, too. It worked out bloody well, didn't it? All right. Well, I'll take that camera, see what we can find, and then um, come back and we'll crack them open after. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Keep going. Oh. Keep going. Yeah. What do you reckon? We're going to start digging? Yeah. All right. Do you want me to show you how to dig? Yeah. Okay. So look, see that big round mark there? There's a big round mark. That was where an egg was. So we've got to get all this out. Oh, I do that. You want to help? Oh, one. one. I do it. I did it! I did it, Mom! Yeah? I did it! So I've just gone for a bit of a walk, because obviously Sean and Jack are doing the mining. I was just looking at the map, and they got camping here. They got unpowered, powered, and glamping. So you can bring your caravan down here, you can bring your camper trail, you can do all sorts of stuff. They got bins, fire pits, you got your water and power there. Not bad. It's in amongst all the bloody trees out here. It's a nice spot. I don't mind it at all. Fire pits, nice level sites, in amongst the trees, gum trees. It's actually really nice and quiet here at the moment, which is nice. It's quite secluded. You wouldn't even think you were in kind of like a theme park, I guess, but 
to be able to come to a, a park like this, take your caravan, whether you've got the kids and whatnot, you've got zip lining, you've got the mining, you can go fossicking king like uh, Sean and Jack are. Um, they've got heaps of activities, they've got animals, there's all sorts of stuff here. So I'm not sh entirely sure on the pricing of the, of the camping yet, but um, you've got to jump on the website. So I'll get Sean to put in the details down the bottom here. But uh, so far, pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. It's a cool little spot. So we come for a bit of a, uh, a walk and have a look and see what's here. They've got washing machines and dryers. Looks like tokens for the washing machine and dryer are to be purchased at the reception. Oh, yeah. Little camp kitchen. Got some grill plates there, some toasters and microwaves. Not bloody bad at all. It's cool. Good. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. I found one. Oh, we get the camera. Well, that didn't take long. I found one. It feels like a big one. It's actually like a big rock. I'll show you the difference. What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, look. It's got crystals in it. Jack, I found crystals. Oh, Look at the crystals. Hang on, there's a piece in here still. Crap. I broke it. Look. Oh. How cool is that? Yeah. That's like the most rewarding thing I've ever done. That's cool. This is like, you go and do mining and you think it's been set up, but it's actually in the ground. It's so cool. <laughs> we found one really big egg and um, a few tiny pieces and crystal bits and that. So I think that's enough for us. Um, it's a bit unfortunate because obviously Jack, he's trying, but he doesn't really know what he's looking for, nor does he have the strength. And um, highly recommend if you come here and only one of you is wearing clothes and shoes, Send dad up. Do you nearly fall? Yeah. Send dad up. Because um, once you've like hacked into it, like the soft clay stuff, and you feel it, then it gets intricate and the kids could have a go at getting it out. But that initial hacking, um, obviously I was able to do it. I got it out. But yeah, send dad up with the kids. That's my hot tip. <laughs> Should we go show dad what we found? Yeah. Yeah? You want to show him your thunder egg? Yeah. Yeah. We've been here, I don't know, maybe like half an hour or so. Um, in the time we've been there, we found some really cool eggs, as you saw. Jack's had a ball. He probably would have stayed longer. Uh, I wish we took out water bottles. Um, it's a bit of work. Like, it really is more work than you expect. So Jack was asking me for water, and I could have done with some water as well. As you can see, my jumper's come off. Don't wear your Sunday best, because it's like white, chalky, clay dirt. And um, make sure you wear closed-in shoes, because the reason that Chris isn't coming up is because he didn't wear closed-in shoes. So. We're gonna walk back now. I'm really excited to show him our find. I was skeptical. I honestly didn't think we we're gonna find what we found. So it's really cool. Something for the kids for sure, especially in, if they're into geology or anything to do with like volcanoes and all the history of the earth and that. This is cool. Wow. Go and show him the other side. Show him what you found. What'd you get? Show me. <gasps> wow. I can't believe it. I don't know. I found crystals. You did find a crystal. That is oh. very cool. There's like. Hey. There's another one there. A piece of one. That is That's like so the coolest cool. one. Yeah. Well done, mate. With the other piece. Look, there's the other half. I accidentally cracked it open. Yeah, right. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. <laughs> found a thunder egg. I'm trying to get in the light. We'll go give him a wash. Uh, that is so cool. Good on you, Jack. Well done, mate. There's some other cool pieces in there, so you have to come and have a look. We got something in your stuff. shoe. There's a rock in the shoe. There's oh, a rock no. in your shoe. You can get it out. Try now. Put your shoe on and we'll go crack this egg. You want to see what's inside? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're like hitting on the ground, it's kind of like because it's wet, it's clay, so it kind of just moves. It doesn't break away. 
if that makes sense. Yeah. So you're like doing this, so you got to really get it under so you can hoik it up and actually like break chunks off sort of thing. And then eventually I heard this ka and I was like, <gasps> oh, I found one. I recorded it, so you've seen it, but yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I'm hot though. Oh. I've got a nice a cool beverage now. I'm pretty sure I've probably got like white stuff all over me. Yeah, you do. It's do everywhere. I? <laughs> Is it? The joys of wearing black. Yeah. Well, at least my jumper's not getting dirty. Yeah, well, you did well for the white. Now, and the thing is with this, uh, it's a lovely egg. We've got a beautiful crystal cave in there. Yeah. Um, so these are all individual quartz points. Okay. Now, if we didn't know that was in there and it wasn't broken, yes. we'd certainly be cutting it. But because it's broken. Because it's already in there, because we've got a hole here yeah. and that, I think in trying to cut this, it's going to fall apart. Yeah. Because what we have here, this orange, is actually oxidation or rust. Which so means there's been air getting in? Uh, yeah, and a high iron content water, basically. Okay. Iron from the surrounding strata gets in there and has basically softened this to the point that it's broken. <coughs> Hence why. Yeah, yeah, but this would be beautiful to clean up. Look at that beautiful cave. I, I mean, I'd love to, to try and cut it to open it up, but... You just don't know what will come from it. Could well, it's yeah. going to be beautiful, but if, if it turns into a hundred pieces, yeah. I'm going to feel like a bit of a goose. Yeah. <laughs> and it is certainly possible. Um, but that is a beautiful egg. This one's a little small for us, but if someone's got a hammer floating around at home, you could give it a really sharp crack, maybe get some lovely colour. That's a really nice little conglomerate. Well done, Jack. You did a good job. Most of the little ones were Jack's finds. Actually, and you've got another little one here. Yeah. It's called facing. I just clean up, I think, both of these faces. Yep. And I think that could be really, really nice. So that's okay. the one that Jack finds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. So you like me to do that for you? Yeah. Alrighty. Woohoo, well done. Well Mr. done. Jack, hey, here is your mining permit. Oh. Now that means that you are a legal miner now. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> They're just laying around everywhere, all the round pieces. Like, yeah, it's insane, just, isn't it? How much it looks like is. bone marrow. Look at it up close. Can you see that up close? Yeah, it's almost like a little fossil. But then, yeah, like full circles and stuff. Another one. That one's like solid, it feels cold to touch. Beautiful agates around here where we've got these fine concentric lines. That's cool. Again, a bit of a soak in that one because there's still a bit of mud. Yeah. But that, you found that one, Jack. Knuckles. Go boop. Do you knuckles? Do you fist? Boop, boop. Oh, oh, leave him hanging. Well done. There we go. <laughs> So, we've left Thunderbird Park. We're at the top of the hill now. Yeah, it's only five minutes away maybe. You kind of drive through some rainforest and through like the squiggly bit of the mountain. It's like the fun bit of the mountain. It gets quite rainforesty and it, like the trees come over the road and it's quite dark and it's really cool. It's a cool experience. It's, it's a fun drive. Yeah, so that's where we are now. Um, we've just got to the top. We've come to a place called Gallery Walk. So Gallery Walk is kind of like your main tourist area around here. So it's, it's basically one big straight road and it's just got shops either side. Mm. It's like things from like um, alcohol. Jack, come here. Come here. Um, you've got fudges, you've got clothes stores, you've got soaps, you've got candles, you've got all sorts of stuff. And there's actually um, a winery and a few different... Sorry, I keep looking at Jack because he's like right here next to the road. <laughs> Get Jack. <laughs> come here. Do you want to be on camera? Come here. So yeah, no, there's plenty here. Um, Lots of specialty stores. There's definitely a lot that'll tick a lot of people's boxes. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those places you just got to come and check it out and see what it's all about because, yeah, there's some really cool fun stuff in here. Way to distract us, Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> so we just pulled up in this car park. It's actually got a bit of flex to it. There was a Subaru in here earlier and that back wheel right here was actually, you could fit your whole hand underneath it. So doing all right, the old 62. 
Let's go. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious. Idiots. Thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sorry, it's like my sorry. element. Is it, is it up to speak? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, speak Oh, what do you got? Oh, that's a bit cool, isn't it? We're talking about getting some uh, macrame done in the new van. You're going to make it yourself? Or are you it's thinking about buying it? No, I'll make it. I just, I like looking at other yeah. people's designs and things. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. What do you got? I. Oh, it is an eye. Wow. Okay. This looks very familiar. Yeah, you recognise that knot? I know that knot. That was the, the cat hanger we did yeah. up at Danby Peninsula. That's to hold a ball or a pot, see? Yeah, it's cool. know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something Look at the clock everywhere. The rain is welcome to friends are nearby. Don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I can't remember. French can can. What did you find? Oh, it's like a big spin top. How cool is that? This one? And then this last one then, okay? No more then. <gasps> oh, you excited? Ice cream or This is what? Probably the best fudge shop. I've been coming here since I was like five. A it's, long time. It's like the popular shop that everyone knows. What did you get? What is that? That is a huge lollipop, mate. Oh. Hey? That's what he wants. I said he could have one thing, and that's what he chose. <laughs> <laughs> you can only have one thing. Do you want some fudge? Yes, please. Oh. It's heaven behind a window. I'm so excited. Devonshire cream. Oh. Hello. Down. Jack. Yeah, I'll open it. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is by far the biggest lollipop you've ever had. <laughs> Don't drop it. Oh, you look exceptionally cute with your flower in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> it's big, big. Wow. Oh, does it taste good? Mmm. <laughs> Is it yummy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a wet bum. Oh. No, it's wet on there. Excuse me. I'm serious. I have a wet bum. <laughs> you got a wet bum? Yeah. Oh. Can yeah, we go to another shop? Yeah. Let's go and have a look around. Another shop. This is like my childhood in a bag. Oh, seriously, we've been coming here for years, and it's like seriously the best fudge you'll ever have. I, I could own a house. Yeah. If I didn't buy fudge from there, probably. Just walking past, and there's like a house for sale here. The driveway looks insane. I've never it's seen anything like on. it. It's like something out of like overseas, like a mansion. Yeah. I'll show you. This is what it looks like. You imagine driving down this every day. How cool is that? <laughs> the door. 
It's amazing because I'm filming on the phone. It looks way brighter than what it actually is. That all that through the middle there is like super dark. <laughs> what do you reckon, Jack? Pretty cool driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Big gates at the front. Very cool. It's for sale. Get up, Blake. About to go to Castle, an adult's castle. For anyone that doesn't know this castle, and for the people that do, you know exactly what we're talking about. It's so good. This is the winery, liqueurs, brewery, and distillery. So it has like all sorts of stuff in here. Some really cool stuff. I think we've been here quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, and you get like little specialist bottles and stuff, and you can come back up and refill them, and that's really cool. It is cool. So we've pretty much made it most of the way around. We've done like the full lap. We've got ourselves our fudge. He had his lollipop. We're actually just gonna go back to the car and drive further up the street. There's a place called Fortitude Brewing Coast. We're gonna go there for some lunch. We love a good brewery. Well, it's funny. We're the only people parked here by ourselves because nobody was game enough to make their own line. Everyone's over here and over there and the entry's right here. I bet by the time we come out, we'll have someone next to us. I can almost guarantee it. But for now, it's beer time. I really hope that Jack can hold it together because it's sleep time for him right now. And this could go south very quickly. Hey, Jack. You feeling good? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, what is that? There's mud. Yeah. Ooh. I think we'll, will we put this in the fridge? Yes, we can. I'll put it in the new fridge that nobody oh, knows about yeah. yet. Right? That's right, we got a new fridge in the back of the car that I need to do a bit of a, a review on. I can't open it because you're not close enough. Oh no. Go. Oh, look at that, it's silver. I should cut the video now. <laughs> Ooh. Can anybody guess in the comments below what it is? Anyone? Anyone get any ideas? Let us know. These guys just hooking in. So cool. What else they got here? Looks like a bistro, cafe style thing. And then the brewery must be just up here. That's funny, I've been here for so many years and I've never been here. Oh, are we getting tedious? Are you yeah, getting, are you going to get your do. poopies on? He wants an ice cream. Oh, well, let's just get him an ice cream. Okay. <laughs> let's go get an ice cream then. Because Dad wants a tasting bladder. <laughs> Bought a tube brewing company. All right, so I've just got back in the car. Um, we went into the cheese shop. Well, we got into the brewery, the Fortitude Co. Brewery, and Chris... Chris. We were this close, this close to getting, sitting down, to have a feed and try some beers. It's closest I've ever had before. Closest I've ever been to that brewery, like ever. <laughs> I've been there like a thousand plus times, and that's how close we got. But Jack was at that time, so it's just past 12 o'clock, yeah. and normally he has a sleep around now. And we thought, oh, we might be able to, but if we committed to a, um, what's it called? A pizza or any orders or anything like that, then yeah, we were stuck yeah. there. So, oh well, it didn't happen, but anyway, so Chris went and brought Jack out to the car and then I went back in and um, there's a cheese shop in there as well and I just tried sheep cheese. I really want to try sheep cheese. It sounds amazing. He's so nearly asleep. He had one eye open. Did you see that? You would have got that on the... Yeah, he's on the camera. You will have seen that. <laughs> so I tried sheep cheese and then I tried goat cheese and I was like, oh, goat cheese. But it actually wasn't that bad. Apparently it's the curd of goat cheese that makes it really horrible. So So would you get some of it? Yeah, yeah. No, not that. I, oh, I thought about it, but then I thought you might be grossed out about it. <laughs> I wouldn't be grossed out. I'd well, be actually keen to try it. I got a port cheddar instead. 
port. Yeah, and a, a camembert. And um, what else was it? Garlic olives as well. Ooh. I spent more there than I spent all day. <laughs> it was 50 bucks. Oh, you can't go your past good cheese. No, so they're in the fridge in the back. Um, Bloody keen for and that. And now we're heading down the hill. So what we're going to do is hopefully in the drive time, he's going to fall asleep. Mm. I think he will. He's probably going to fall he's asleep. All, he's almost trying to sleep now. Like he, he was just about to go as we pulled up. And I was like, oh, I don't want anybody to do. Mm. And we'll show you another pub down the bottom of the hill, which is an old favourite of ours favorite of ours that we used to go to a lot before we went on the road it's definitely a top five of some of the best pubs in the southeast so stay tuned hopefully he has a bit of a snooze and we can sneak in there and grab some lunch so fingers yes, crossed Jack. he needs to do a poo i think he's just tired right on let's, let's try go. let's go yeah except he's wearing right. the tambourine hills get him fingers crossed Success. The car's just there. Did you see that bird fly past my face? No. Oh. It just went like straight Camera past. probably got it. Yeah, it would have got it. Jack's like right there. The car's just there, passed out. You can see straight in the window. And we're going to sit right here. Well, I'm just reading this line. It says designated outdoor smoking area. No food permitted oh, here. Oh, no. Oh, well, can we sit here somewhere? So we may have to sit there or here. We sit here. Be right. Yeah. Happy days. But I can see him through the windshield, so I know he's there. There are so many menus to choose from. We've got the normal menu, we have the Bearded Dragon Blackboard Specials, but then there's actually a real blackboard, which I took a photo of. <laughs> Too much to choose from. Oh, I just want one of everything. So how's it feel to be back at the uh, Beard Dragon? Pretty good. It's um like we're straight back at home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're just hanging out. We've had a couple of drinks. We've just ordered food, so we'll show you that when it comes. But this place in general, you can come here on the weekends, and if you haven't made a table booking, you won't get a table. Like this is weird. It's flat out. Like this like, is we're very strange. There and we're here. It's not normal. Yeah, to get a car park right at the front and for it to be like half empty, like it's very quiet right now. It is very, very, very strange. Mm. So it's really nice. So if you can come during the week, and then you're guaranteed a table. If you can't, weekends is the way to go. And on the weekends. There's usually a live band here as well. They do like a kid's craft and coloring and they do painting and everything inside one of the other buildings. There's alpacas to feed. Uh, Sundays they do cane toad racing as well. I'm pretty sure I've actually got videos of Jada somewhere with that and she used to try and catch all the cane toads afterwards and help them clean up. <laughs> She's so gross like that. She's happy doing it. And I was just looking through my camera roll as well and I found a photo of Jack when we were here last and he was honestly like six months old. Like he's so tiny. He was such a baby. Oh, it's gone now. Hang on. Oh, oh no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I don't know if you'd be able to see that. Yeah. Look how tiny he was. Long time ago. So 6th of October 2019 was the last time we were here. Incredible. <sighs> And then when we were reading the menu before, we saw the starter. So you wait until you see the starter. Oh my God. This is like it's something that a celiac shouldn't eat, but it looks amazing. <laughs> Sean's probably going to suffer after yeah. this one, but it's totally worth it. You wait till you see it. Boom, bada bing. There it is. See what I mean about celiacs not being able to eat it? 
It's definitely not down your alley, but my god. Oh, I can smell it. Look at it. And did you know that they're freshly baked cob loaves? They bake them here. They make their own bread. That's why it's so goddamn good. Oh. <laughs> I'm probably going to have one piece. Yeah. I'm I think we'll be taking right home. There, I reckon. I'll be taking home the rest of it because if I eat all that, I'm not eating lunch. Honestly, if you don't get one of these when you come to the Beat of Dragon, you're doing yourself out of a good thing because <laughs> that is literally heaven in a mouthful. Mr. Jack is just working up. I like to crack the window just in case he does have a bit of a, a scream or a cry or whatever he needs to do. We just heard a mum and then Sean's got up and had a check and he's awake. Perfect timing. Oh, he's going to take a good 10-15 minutes to come good, I think. He's never amazing when he wakes up. <laughs> he's okay, but he's a bit... Uh... Yeah, he's always like that for about 10-15 okay. minutes. You just have cuddles with mum. Snuggles. Hey. Do you want to go and order his nuggets and chips, please? Yep. I've already paid. Just tell them. No. What's up? <laughs> So we just moved table again. <laughs> we thought we'd get closer to the playground for do Jack. Well, do you want to leave this here? And then the okay. the waiter is stalking us and uh, brought out a meals for us. <laughs> you can get Check that out. Guinness pie. That is humongous. Yeah, come on. You want to go on the slide? Whoa, what is that? Oh, the big balls. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very They're cool. Blue balls. Blue balls. Yeah. You don't want those, mate. They hurt. You come down the slide. Come on. Ready. Ready. One. Two. Three. Go. Woohoo! Well done. How's your uh, behemoth meal? Look at the size of I'm that I'm just, thing. I'm trying to do a pan right now. Oh, sorry. Good old socials, though. Mm. This is for Chris. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at the skill on it. Eh? Technique plus. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> Bit of behind the scenes there. Yeah. What do you got here? Brisket? Yeah, brisket. It's a, one of the biggest Yorkshire puddings I have ever seen. Mm. And then we get the old Guinness pie. That is humongous. Mm. Look at the size of it. Yeah, Jack. I want to be dipping. Yeah, yours yeah. is coming. Yours is on the way. It's coming right now. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> One day. Chop all of them? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, babe, Mom. No problem. This is what we're talking about, the alpacas out the back. So, Sean's just going to get some uh, feed from inside of the, at the bar. they got these little, like, uh, brown paper bags full of food. $2 a bag. So, it's great for the kids to come out. Especially on a weekend, this place goes off its head. Like, it is so busy. But yeah, to come out here, there'll be, like, hundreds of kids. And for them to kick around with the animals and have a good time is always awesome. But then you've got these big open grass fields too, like just plenty of room. There's even more room back there I'm behind where everybody eats. So, I'm a where are you going? Have a look. Let's go have a look. I see a bus. I see the bus. Yeah. So yeah, alpaca is out the back. So don't forget that two dollar feed at the bar. Good to go. Kids will keep them entertained for hours. Live music, the cane toad races are absolutely amazing. Like, you don't see that stuff anymore. It's very rare to see that, but you have such a good time down here. People getting on the beers, just having a good old time, betting on the on the toads, and yeah, just making an absolute afternoon of it. Oh, back with beverages. Yeah. There you go. I thought we'll be here long enough. Well, so I got two lots of alpaca food too. How good is that? I need one to figure out that we've got it. I want to see them. Well, there's a hole over in the fence here. i just seen them go under. So I reckon if we go back over here, here they come. 
Yeah, look, come over here. See that big hole under the fence is where the, where the kids got out. Watch this, I'll blitz everyone. They'll be like, righto, see you later. I'm under. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> the big one's trying, but it's just not working. Ready? Oh, special attention. Oh, oh no, he's going to knock you over. Oh. Wow, is that Does tickle? Does feel funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that tickle your hand? Oh, look at him. You want some more? <laughs> I feel bad for everyone else. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. Everybody else is just like, come on, cut us a break. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you can't have my beer? Oh, hello. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. You're friendly, aren't you? Yeah, good yeah. boy. They're good, aren't they? How cool is that? Aww. Aww. Bit cute, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Full. That was a huge meal. It really was, eh? Mine was big, but then I'm, I become a bit of a bin chicken myself and I start picking out on everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> so we're back. It's back. a big day. Ready, we've uh, picked up the kids, Jack's had his sleep, we've had a humongous day out, it's actually a fair bit done, I think that's probably the joy about Tambourine, there's just so much around there that you can cram into one day, yeah. um, and it's just it's just one of those places you can go back time and time again and still have a different experience every time, because it's a fair bit up there. If you're passing through here or you're a local, pretty much if you're anywhere from Brisbane to Gold Coast, it's mm. easy to get to, it's like central to there, and I reckon what we probably did... This is a real guesstimation here, so Chris and I will disagree, but I reckon we've done like probably 60, 70 k's today. Well, why do you have to bring the distance into it? Yeah, I reckon, what, like a round <laughs> trip. Everyone's probably thinking, oh, Chris is going to say about 120, 250. <laughs> what do you think it would be? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. 100? <laughs> I have to look it up and put it in. But um, yeah, it's been a very achievable round trip. You've got no, kind of like a, a halfway trip to get to the gallery walk, which is where all the shops are and the fudge and that. And then you only have to go, what, probably 10, 15 minutes down the mountain, and that's where mm. the Bearded Dragon was. So yeah. it used to be our local. There is a couple of... Well, you got that brewery, which is up there, that mm. I've known about, but I've never actually been. Yeah, Fortitude today, Brewing Co. Today was the closest I've ever been to it, but it looks we'll so inviting. I was like, oh my God, we have to go back. So we might do that at some stage. Um, but then there's cafes, there's ice creameries, there's... Oh, the like lolly shops, bakeries, there's clothing shops. There's, there's everything. Organic shops, there's... Oh, there's everything. There's a lot. There's if you like and shopping tons. and you like all those little like specialty stores and like little quirky stores and, and yeah, it's yeah, really cool for that. It is really cool. But yeah, so we went and got like I said that fudge earlier. So I've had mm. that in the fridge ever since. So I was going to get it out and give some to the kids because we've got Jada now. So we picked her up from school. We're back home again. Have some fudge. Show Chris the cheese that we bought. Yeah, I'm curious. Have a look. Yeah, you should see what one of them looks like. It's pretty cool. Why? It just looks cool. You'll see. It okay. just looks cool. <laughs> what yeah. do I think? My mum's cat is my mum's mum's cat is named Fudge. Grandma. Your grandma's. Cat. My grandma's. Cat. Are you gonna try oh, some? Oh, rocky road straight off the bat. Yeah. Who wants to try a piece? Me. I want to try a piece. You, you want to try, try a piece? piece? Yeah. Peanuts, chocolate, and marshmallows. Oh, oh yummy! Right, eh? One for you, sir. With your manners. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. One for you. One for me. One for camera crew. I saved the thickest camera one. Camera crew. Thickest one for the camera crew. Yum. Hey, lucky last. What's this one? Uh, that lady? is Devonshire cream. Devonshire cream. I'm going to add more. You're going to add some go. more? Yeah. 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 Oh, my God, yeah. So this particular fudge shop as well, they used to do um, Bailey's Irish cream and a Kahlua. And a couple of oh, alcohol no, flavors as well, stop. but apparently they can't do that anymore. It's a PG shop. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. I, I was a bit disappointed. Old mate was joking about um, like the people making it in the back were drinking it too much, <laughs> drinking the alcohol before they put it in the fudge. I love this one. I'm not a fan of this one. Wow. Right, oh, have a look at your cheeses, mate. 
Is it meant to be like that? Yeah. <laughs> what on earth is that? Looks it's like a red. red port cheddar. Wow. It's like marbled. It's like marbled cheese. Oh, that's so weird. How it's cool is that? It looks like yeah. brains. Wow. Can't say I've ever seen um, purple cheese. Oh no, they squished it a bit. They sucked a bit, a bit too much air out of that one. Camembert. Good old camembert. Oh, yum, that one's even and... favourite. Oh. That? I'm guessing these are the olives. Oh, they're leaking a tiny bit. Yum. Garlic peel olives. Oh. Olives. Okay. Fifteen bucks. Yeah. They want to be bloody good. Jada loves olives. If none of you kids out there don't like oh, olives, they're the there? best and you should try them. They're <laughs> the best olives in the whole entire world. You haven't tried these ones yet. Yeah, olives are always the best. One last thing that I wanted to show you, oh. which is like the coolest thing ever. This is what Jack and Mum found, didn't you? Yeah. You did really well. Let's see if I can put them together so that they... That's it. Yeah, pretty connected. cool, isn't it? I'm trying to make them connect. So you know what they... it is? No, 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 no. Hang on. Uh, which way would it be? I can't see through the bag. I can't put them together. All right, you ready? An old jigsaw. I found it. Dun, dun, dun. We found a rock. Oh, how pretty is it? It's an incredible rock. Quite a rock. Whoa. Like clay. Look at all the crystals in it. Whoa. It's we found really that cool. and dug it out of the ground. I want to have one. Yeah, well, we got to clean these up anyway. I he said if we give these a good Daddy clean, they'll come out nice. Yeah. Crystals? Oh. Maybe you could try and open it a bit more. Open and then more. there's one other one as well. That Jack found, I'm guessing. He found most of them. Look. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty. How cool is that? It's really pretty. Do you it's know a little rock collection. Did they tell you what type of crystal they were? Agate. Which one? Quartz. And I can't remember what else. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It was something totally different. It's really weird for us because we don't have the van. Obviously, you keep asking us when the van is coming and it was going to be this week, but just with COVID and floods, there's been some delays. So they're saying now 17th of August, which funnily enough is also my sister's wedding. So we're collecting a heap of stuff in the granny flat. We're ready to move in. We're hanging out to hit the road and we've got so many plans for you. But in the meantime, over the next couple of weeks, if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see on our series that are in the southeast Queensland corner, let us know. Just remember, we can't take our van because <laughs> we don't have one. <laughs> do you want actually? Actually, do you want to come and get a sneak peek at some of the things in the van? Should we show them? We'll give them a very, maybe a quick overview. A really quick sneak peek. Yes. Of some things. Okay, let's do it. So we've got some chairs. We've got some new milk. <clears throat> we've got kitchen accessories down in behind here. There's some, what else? We've got navigator gear. Oh, some of our favorite tea fowl. Oh, don't show the bottom one too much. I'll have to blow that. <laughs> um, here we go. New bedding. No, oh, very good. No, oh, it's a Breville. You can see some kind of Breville there. Look. <laughs> I got a navigator there. Jackal toaster, because finally we can do stuff like that. My poor Ziggy that's been sitting in here for so long. Oh, it feels neglected. So this oh. is partly some of our stuff, partly a few new things. Got a few bits and pieces going on there. Around hey. here is a few new, new bits going on. Oh, the new navigator bag. Navigator. Oh, there's a... The Navigator bag. Yeah, I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of that one. That's a good one. That Our, yeah. our mat, Is our big uh, cockatoo yeah. mat He's here. is inside that. So that's an exciting one to show you. So excited. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's... We're like hanging out to get on the road just as much as you're hanging out to have us on the road. So don't worry, it's coming. Seriously, like our feet have been itchy for weeks, if not months. Um, it's it's been a real struggle. I will admit it's it's kind of good coming back to like where life began or where mm -hmm. life was not began but where it was what we had um, even being in a granny flat and stuff like all these things that used to be normal to us now is just so not normal 
and we're so past it now we've grown and we just appreciate things more and more now and yeah just really really looking forward to getting back out there and really just exploring again because that's what we love and that's what our where our heart is and we're definitely super keen to get back out on the road and start exploring so how's chris's dnm hmm that's how that's how sad i am let's go that's how excited i am <laughs> <laughs> let's get on the road Come in, babe. Why are you so close? Because I want it to be like a, I want you to like connect with them. Be like, whoa, hey. Whoa, well, stop. You're going to say the whoa, well, stop? Yeah. Yeah? Come on then. Can you get it? Whoa, well, stop. What are we saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now I want you to say stop. Okay? Yeah. Ready? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then you say stop. Stop! Yeah, after I say that, okay, I'll go whoa, 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 and then you say stop. Oh, whoa, 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 then stop! Stop! <laughs> okay, ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You go! Say stop! Stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop! 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 Come in closer so Dad can get in. Go ready to get say in really stop. close. Are you ready to say stop? Look here, look here. Look here. Ready? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you say whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not going away, it's going towards the end. So stay tuned for that one. You can't scream. Do you want to do it one more time? No. That would have been perfect too. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. Why is that, babe? We're going to mix it up. Instead of doing it at the start of the video, we're going to chuck it at the end. Just for something. I don't know, a little, little different, little, I don't know. <laughs> Picked up this can. Actually not that bad. It turns out the goat cheese is like, I feel like this is so fake. Is this like the fakest thing you've ever recorded? Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no kiss? <laughs> no. Not when the camera's on. G'day buddy, Did you got some uh, funky looking teeth, <laughs> wow, sorry. Alright, so, getting rid of all the clay off everything, I hope you enjoyed this week's, it's like a garlic burp. <laughs>